reporting there. Well, police in Paris fired tear gas to push back protesters who ransacked businesses here in the French capital on Sunday during May Day rallies. Most of the demonstrations elsewhere were peaceful, with thousands of people joining protests calling for salary increases and for freshly re-elected President Emmanuel Macron to drop his plans to raise the retirement age. Here's Cars Garland with the details. One week after France's presidential election, the May Day protest in Paris was sure to draw an animated crowd. About 24,000 people took part, an increase of roughly 7,000 compared to last year. They called for salary increases and for Emmanuel Macron to scrap his plan to raise the retirement age. In the president's first term, there were unacceptable reforms. Reforming unemployment benefits in the middle of a pandemic, lowering the rights of all unemployed people is scandalous. I hope our candidates will be able to raise the issue of working conditions for employees and the deplorable condition of our health sector. Macron, who won 58 per cent of last week's vote, is under pressure to listen to citizens more in his second term. Voters' number one concern is the rising cost of living and looks to remain that way ahead of parliamentary elections in June. A host of left-wing party leaders attended Sunday's rally, including Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who came third in the first round of the presidential vote. Mélenchon wants to lead a coalition to secure a majority in the National Assembly. Never have we entered parliamentary elections in such good conditions as now. We have given a guarantee to each of those who come to discuss with us that they will have a group in the National Assembly. While most protesters were peaceful, police clashed with a number of rioters who ransacked banks and other businesses. According to the Interior Ministry, eight police officers and firefighters were injured. It's a bid to bring beauty to a war-scarred concrete jungle. An Iraqi artist has been painting murals of 